Hello everyone, this is Lord of the Samurai. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I Last time I left you, I was doing the Rwanda series, the national team. I uh, finished the club side. Uh, I'm still not on the national team at the time of this recording. I'm, uh, I'm currently finishing that. I'm still not done with it. I, you could still expect episodes from that side. But I decided to get a little bit of a head start on my newest series, which is actually going back to my home country of Peru. And we are going to... Um, do a road to glory style save where we start unemployed, we look for a job, and we try to get it up. Uh, why have I chosen Peru now? There's actually a reason. It's because there's a database for the Copa Peru, which is the third tier of Peruvian football. Which I'll explain how this all works in a second, but like it's pretty complicated, and there's no, there's literally no uh, database on the other games about this. So I figured I'd take advantage, and the la since there might not be a database like this in FM21, I decided to just play this. So, uh, play us now. So, anyways, we're currently unemployed. Uh, I still have the default manager look. I just can't be bothered making it. So, I'll explain how this all works, but we are going to start in the third tier. Uh, and we are going to look for a job. So, there's a lot of jobs around here. I'll tell you which ones interest me the most uh, in a second. Obviously, we're going to look for third division, so these aren't going to apply. But let's take a look. So, the first, I looked for the job before recording. The first job that interests me is Atletico Chalaco. This is actually one of the most traditional clubs in the country, but they haven't done anything in years. Uh, I would even say decades, actually. So, yeah, they won the first division. Uh, I don't remember when. It was a long time ago. I think it was... Uh, let me check. It might have been at, at the start of the... Uh, uh, yeah, as, as you can see, they won the first one in 1930, second one in 1947. That's more recent than I thought, actually. But they are a pretty traditional club from Callao. They are Sport Boys rivals. Let's see if the game has it here. Yeah, they do have it there. Sport Boys uh, as, as the rivals. Classico Porteño. So they could be they could be an interesting one. Only problem is they're amateur. And uh, there's a few semi-pro clubs in this league that could make an amateur team almost impossible to escape with. So yeah, let's keep looking. Uh, the other team... This, I'm not going to go with the two-star ones. I'm only going to go for the half-star ones. Bolognese is a very traditional club as well, but I feel like that would make it a little bit too easy. So let's take a look. Um, DEA, which is Deportivo de Educación Abancay. The reason I'm thinking about them is because they've actually made the Copa Peru final, I think, well, almost two decades ago. 2003, I think it was. But they lost the final, and they have been pretty irrelevant in the competition ever since. So it might be time to finally take them. And plus, they're professional. So that, that certainly helps. And I don't think it would be too easy with them. Uh, there's Deportivo Zuniga, which I when I was in Peru, I was I helped them a lot. So this could be another interesting one to play with. I could take them to the top. So, um, yeah, I, I hope I hope you're watching this, uh, pe uh, people from Ferro Zuniga. I, I, uh, te mando saludos, for sure. I'm, I just a Spanish word. Obviously, but I, I, I'm not sure if they understand English. Not all of them. But anyways, I wanted to say hi to them. Uh, I want to check this out too. What the heck is this? This this is the best badge ever. I just, I've just never seen the team before, to be honest. There is Garcilas for the Bordeaux Garcilas. So why are they amateur? I'm pretty sure they're a little higher than that. But anyways, this is another club. This is one of the second most traditional club in Cusco, which is obviously the tourist hotspot for Machu Picchu is. And um, they are... Uh, their second biggest club after Cinciano and Cusco, but they've never been in the top flight. So that could be another one that really I'm really keen on. So let's take a look. I'm looking I'm gonna look at there's one more club that I was keen on that I wanna talk about. I think I might have passed it already actually. Let's go up a little more. No, I didn't pass it. There's one more club. I, I might surprise you with I don't wanna go over all the clubs at the moment. I wanna um surprise you guys with a few other clubs that could be Take a look. I'm just looking. There's one more I want to talk about. It's particular before I apply for the jobs. Uh, I might have passed it for real though. There it is. Deportivo Independiente Miraflores. This is actually my local team. Uh, I don't actually live in Peru at the moment, but when I was living in Peru, I was living in this district, Miraflores. So um, th this is the team I actually support in Peru. Uh, so they, they could be a fun one, taking them to the top. And they have a few of the players there in real life too. So that that's awesome. Although they got the ages wrong. Shoto is not 29 as far as I know. Yeah, they got the age wrong. So 
Anyways, I'm going to go look for the team. I'll be back in a second. I'll let you know when I get the interviews. So, yeah, see you all soon. Okay, we've got two job interviews here. And uh, these two jobs, I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely keen on. Uh, they're not the ones I had in mind. So I'm going to reject one of them. I'm going to reject the Otaos Pinoso one. Now, this was this could be a fun club to manage, but firstly, they're amateur. Secondly, um, I don't... Uh, What's it called? I don't really... I think there's better options. It's that simple. They are a, quite a traditional club from Ica. Ica is uh, just a few hours south of Peru. That's where all the beach... Well, not the beaches, but that's where all the... Um, that's where the deserts are, rather. And, um, yeah, they, they, they their region uh, offers a lot of footballers. Uh, in Well, a lot of... What am I trying to say? In, there are a lot of footballers. Good footballers are born there, like Farfan, for example. Jefferson Farfan. He wasn't actually born there, but his parents were. Uh, just this one example. I am going to attend this interview, though, because I want to take my chance at this club, uh, the, uh, which is the club I support. Let's talk to business. Uh, let's get to business, not talk to business. Uh, I'm just trying to force my career ahead my, with my career by any means necessary. Club is looking to hire a manager working with limited resources. I need that manager. I'll say uh, I guess I'm in for that challenge. Let's see. Finish bottom of the league. Wow, that's that's not very encouraging. Uh, I'll take, I'll say yes anyway, so we always want to keep our expectations low. I understand, let's move on to cover any other areas that need to be discussed. Uh, no other, okay, that's the interview. I'm just going to forward without cutting out anything. Let's take a look at uh, what other uh, job interviews you get, because I'm sure we got a few more. Yeah, it's saving. I wasn't expecting this so soon. But yeah, this is, those are the only two job interviews I've gotten so far. I haven't rejected any of them off screen or anything. But uh, yeah, I applied for a couple of clubs. You'll see which other clubs I've applied for. Actually, I guess I'll show you right now. Uh, I think I can do that. Can I? Let's take a look. Yeah, we can check in job security at the top. All right, here they are. Yeah, we applied for Alipio Ponce, which is a club in Junin. They're actually semi-pro as well, so that could definitely help us. That could definitely be a, worth, a club that's worth it. Uh, they actually have an intriguing backstory. They were, uh, I believe, they were one of the clubs that were expelled from the regional divisions in the eighties, because um, I, I know, I know, I know there's a few clubs. I know the Portillo Junín was one of them, but they were making up results. Like the games weren't recorded, and uh, they were just making up results, and they were caught, so they were expelled from the league. So they could be an interesting one. I applied for Chalaco, as I mentioned, Ciclista Lima, which is actually the oldest team in Peru. Uh, well, technically. Uh, Lima Cricket is actually older, but they uh, they didn't practice football until uh, much later. So Tista Lima is the first official club dedicated to football. I applied for them. Suniga, I've already talked about that. Uh, Uda, uh, this is a club that I almost went up a few years ago, but um, in the Copa Peru, but they um, they lost the other two games. They they had a they had a group. They were in a, the final group of four. To go up, I'll explain how the whole format works at the end. But they were in the final group of four, and they um, they lost. They won the first game and they lost the other two. So yeah, I, I still I still think that qualifies as oh, what's going up. And then there's Walter Armenia, which is another traditional club. This is also I'll tell you right now. This one and Chalaco and Ciclista are the the three I'm really interested in. But I'm mostly interested in Chalaco because even though they are amateur, I I do really think it would be uh, interesting to go up and give us. Uh, uh, have the rivalry of sport boys and be able to play that because none of the other teams have really have traditional rivals. So, yeah, that's the one I'm really interested in. Let's take a look. Um, okay, I'm going to reject Uda and I'm going to go for Olympia Ponce. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to... Listen, we're in the same interview as last time. Be competitive. Okay, these these are these are quite easy interviews, I must say. They're the same interviews before, and they're quite easy. Okay, are we going to get on any others? Yes, we do. They only want to go actually offer this interview. Now, I, I should mention that I, I didn't load myself as a semi-pro uh, footballer as my job experience. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, cheat with it. I, the only reason I did it is just to be sure I get some of these uh, lower jobs. Because sometimes you can start as a Sunday league manager and you still don't get it. All right, the Partido Suniga. Let's take a look. It's going to be a hard one to decide which one I really want. I'm going to consider my options. And also, I want to take a look at uh, 
what else do I want to look at? I gotta look at uh, how they are faring. I think I, I don't I don't want the hardest challenge in the world. Let's take a look here. They have good youth facilities. That sh it should be mentioned. But let's take a look at the under 18s. Okay, they do have a few under 18s. I did not leave the masking off. Okay, this guy looks okay. I forgot what the standard is in football manager for this league, so this might be a little bit tricky. But yeah. Okay, none of these guys look good enough either way. Uh, Ciclista Lima, let's take a look what you have. They're an amateur club as well. Okay. So I think it's going to be between Ciclista and... Um, I think it's going to be at, between Ciclista Lima and Atletico Chalaco. Those are the two I want. Walter Armeño, what do you have? What players? Okay. They're basically the same, so I'm going to reject these. And uh, I hope I get the, the, what's it called? I hope I get the Atletico Chalaco job because that's the one I really want. There it is. There we, there you have it. All right, let's take a look. It's the same interview. Okay, this one, this one has a little more expectations here. Reach the playoff. Well, the Departamental Callao is one of the weakest ones. Like I said, I'll explain how this Copa Peru works in the next episode where we uh, officially get started. I'll explain how that works next time. For now, I'm just trying to get the job. So let's take a look. We have 83. What the? Oh, this is. Let's take a look. Maybe maybe the hire... someone will hire us in the mid middle of this. I wasn't expecting so many. Wow. I think it's going to be all at the end, isn't it? Or if at all. Okay. Uh, Mira Flores, it's it's fitting that they're the first ones to approach me. I'm gonna delay this, just in case I don't get the um the chalaco job. All right, let's take a look here. A few more inbox. I'm gonna go up to the top again. Libya Ponce, I'm gonna delay this as well. Do you agree to delay? Alright, let's see if I let's see if we can get it. It's, there's gonna be a lot more hirings in the next few days. There's a lot of jobs available. Okay. Uh there's another one that this is one of the ones I wanted the most, but I'm going to wait on it as well. The Chalaco job is just keeping me in suspense here. Let's take a look. More of these. We're going to get what I want. Let's find out. Yes, we do. Okay. Chalaco, we're there. There we go. So we have a club. We are Atletico Chalaco. Okay, I don't really care about the screen at all. Let's go to the um Okay. The expectations. Let's take a look here. Uh I'll, 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 I'll review the whole squad later actually. There's a few real players in here. Like right oh, this is not a real player. I thought it was if he was real because it's because of his age. But I guess not. Alright, so I'll take a look at the teams around me. To see what I'm dealing with, and then I'll uh, sign my players. But this is going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. Slow the samurai, and next time we will build our squad. Talk to you soon. I'm signing off.